Hey guys, so I think I finally figured out why the battery on my iPhone is dying so quickly and I wanted to share those findings with you guys in today's video. Now, I've been running iOS 16.3, the latest major release for iOS, a little over two weeks and I've been tweaking around a few options and settings on my iPhone that actually helped me improve the battery life on this device. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. And now the first thing I did was run a YouTube community poll because I'd like to get some feedback from you guys. And of course, the question was, how is battery life on the latest iOS 16.3 for you? Now, a 45% of you guys say it's great, which is a good thing. A 37% of you guys say it's good, but it could be better. Now, also 11% of you guys say it's not good. And a 7% of you guys say it's straight up horrible. Now, this is about 3,500 of you guys that voted. And I'm right here, good, but could be better. Now, I've been struggling with battery life on iOS 16. 16 all the way to 16.3 and I think I finally figured out why now here's what I did so over the past two weeks I've been turning off a few options on my iPhone and measure the battery life to see if I would get any better results over time and this is what I found so if we go into settings here and we go under privacy and security we also have the option here for tracking now the first thing I noticed was that some of these applications were tracking me so what I did was I turned off all these options for tracking and then I went back here and I went into location services. Now I noticed one thing that was also always active under control center here, I would always see the location alert. So if I was in control center and system services was active, I would go into system services and find out why system services was active. And now I turned off two options here, location based alerts and a location based suggestions. Now these two were always on because they provide alerts and suggestions based on your location, obviously. Now if you want to learn more in regards to Apple's location services and how everything works, you want to go into significant location. So let's pop in here. Once you go in here, this option here will tell you everywhere you've been over the past several weeks and your iPhone basically sort of tracks everywhere you go. And that's the reason why I continue to see system services populated here on my control center. So I had over 20 25 records or recorded locations. Now, Apple says this information is end to end encrypted, so they don't see where you're going and what you're doing, but it's more for their services themselves, like maps, photos, and things like that to provide relevant information, better memories, uh, you know, traffic information, and things like that. So, significant location was an option that I turned off completely, and I cleared out all the history here for significant location as well. Now, you can learn more by tapping in these letters here, and Apple describes every single category here. So, from Sharing location, home kit, we see system customizations, we also see emergency calls and SOS. As you can see right here, Apple just basically describes what everything does, as you can see right here. Now I learned that location-based alerts and location-based suggestions are things that I typically don't use. So I did end up turning those off as I mentioned and I also turned off significant location so my iPhone isn't constantly tracking me everywhere I go to provide a better user experience. Now I no longer get the system services on control center constantly and the battery life of my iPhone has improved a good 30 to 45 minutes every single day. To me that is a good sign of improvement of battery life. Of course, course, if you want to go ahead and tweak around those settings on the latest iOS 16.3 and give it a try, I would like to hear your thoughts on those comments down below. Did it work for you? Are these options something that helped you save battery life? Because it did for me over the past two weeks as I tweaked around the settings on my main device. I just wanted to share those findings with you guys. Hopefully this will give you better battery life overall. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.